everyone, Steven here, and it's been a cool minute since we did an episode of this, and I am glad to be back here. And today, we're going to be making one of my favorite comfort foods, foods, chicken, rice, and potatoes. It is very simple, but yet very delicious. Oh yeah, and as you can see, I got an apron, they call me Darth Bacon, <laughs> and a set of Star Wars, Star Wars this is what the finished product looks like, and I sliced up tomato to go along. I just want to dedicate this episode to my friend AJ. I just want to thank um, AJ, Caroline, and Ricky so much for um, the Star Wars set and the apron. Thank you guys so much. Oh, and AJ, I want you to send me an idea for my next episode of Kino Bites so we can cook something special. So right now I have my uh, olive oil heating in a pan, and for the chicken seasoning we're going to be using Don Sazon, and you can use Chef Marito, it works just the same. Now I'm just going to be seasoning the chicken thighs, and I'm going to put them on the pan for like 8-10 to 10 minutes on each side. And then after that we're going to be peeling and cutting the potatoes. This is the chicken, you're going to want to let it cook to 8 to 10 minutes on each side. Okay, so I'm going to be peeling pati <laughs> the potatoes and then cutting them before the chicken is done. So, as you can tell, I'm a f huge fan of Star Wars and my um, favorite episode of Star Wars has to be either Attack of the Clones or The Phantom Menace. So, I have a question. What's your guys' favorite movies or Star Wars movie? And who is your favorite character? Because personally, my favorite character is Darth Maul from Phantom Menace Episode 1. Is that Darth Vader? No. Before he's Darth Vader? No. Darth Maul is that Zabrak person I was talking How the heck do you cut so fast? <laughs> is it years of learning? Yeah, years of experience. Me, I just need a sharp knife. I know, and I suck. We gotta get a good knife set. Yeah. I mean, I know one very good knife, and it's the ones in the door. Mm -hmm. Speci specifically one I named Markov. You named the knife? Yeah, Markov. <laughs> I see that. So now I'm just flipping the chicken to cook it evenly on the other side. Alright, so now I'm done peeling and slicing the potatoes, and now we're going to be adding some oregano, black pepper, and some thyme to give it that real and authentic taste of comfort food. 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 Alright, so this is how you want your chicken to look. You see what those golden brown marks on there? How you see it's kind of caramelizing with the caramelization and the smell of it. If you guys could smell through the screen, it just smells amazing. So before I put in the potatoes, I'm going to chop and dice this onion and let it saute. Whenever I see onions be being cut, I just think of an episode of Spongebob uh -huh. where he starts cutting onions mm -hmm. and Gary has to play a sad violin song. So what I'm doing is I'm going along the lines of the onion so that way they don't make me cry. Fun fact for those of you who didn't know, if you go along with the lines of the onion, it doesn't make you cry. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm just going to give this a little rock and chop and dice the onion. So when I'm done sauteing the onion for like a minute, I'm going to add in the potatoes. I took the chicken out and I added the onions and the potatoes. As you can see, I added more seasoning and some pepper. So what we're going to do on this, we're going to add some hot water, half a cup of hot water, and to be honest, I should have done this first, but you don't want to add it over the potatoes, but you're going to want to add it to the side so it doesn't burn. 
So now you want to cover it with the lid and cook it on medium for 10 to 15 minutes. Chicken and potatoes are still cooking, but I have to admit they do look amazing. And they smell even more amazing. And while that was cooking, I had this um, cooking as well. If I'm being honest, I do not know how to work this thing, so I had to get my dad to help me. But all I know is that he put three cups of rice and three cups of water and some pepper. That's all I know how. So this is what the rice looks like, thanks to my dad. And the chicken and potatoes are all done. So this is the finished product. I added some tomato right there. One, because it's a nice and delicious homegrown tomato from my garden out back. And they're just good. Mm. All right, first I'm gonna try a potato. So. The potato is very good and well seasoned. And to the point where it's not mushy, but you don't really have to bite down with much force. Mmm, interesting. And then some chicken. <laughs> Where is your knife? I didn't have a knife. <laughs> the chicken is very good. Again, well seasoned. Now for the rice. That's good. <laughs> what? It's good, huh? Those tomatoes are amazing. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat one like an apple. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Chemo Bites. Hope to see you next time. God bless.